Oh, the promotion chase is truly on now, folks, as we enter the final stages of the season. We do have very stern tests, though, to go through today as we play fellow promotion chasers, Notts County and Eastleigh in the National League. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Unemployed to Legend with Curzon Ashton. We're all doing episode 16, so I would like to ask if you have been enjoying the series so far, or if you're just catching up because you're watching this in the future, if so, hi, make sure that you leave a like down below. It truly does help out the channel, just gets the videos out there a little bit more as well, and hopefully other people will begin to enjoy the series as we progress. But today's episode we will, as mentioned, be coming up against Notts County and Eastleigh in a potential promotion deciding, I say promotion deciding, but it will go a long way to determining do we deserve promotion this season from the National League. Since you were last with me, since that Wrexham game in January, form has been very very good until we came up against Yeovil Town in the last game. I don't know what it is about Yeovil, we just can't seem to match them at all. We drew 1-1 with them I think, yeah, early this season, 1-1 with a goalkeeper mistake uh, costing us that match and then we lose 3-1 at their grounds, they were just much much stronger and much better than us it's even more frustrating for the fact that it, their squad includes our former defender Scott Wilson who left us last summer although has he really made the right decision because looking at the league table they're 13th, we still thankfully sit currently top of the league, 8 points clear of Wrexham at this point although they are uh, still coming at us, they're dropping points as well as well as we did in the last game. But hopefully we get a good amount of points from today's games. Not only could that seal us at least a playoff position at the end of the season, but hopefully go a long way to us getting promoted at the same time. We won't seal promotion today, what am I saying? But we could at least seal the playoffs today. Hopefully starting against Knox County. We played them at home. And I think we beat them on the road this season. Too sure, I don't think that matters too much at the moment anyway. And why are we not going straight to the fixtures? Here we go. Ah, here we go. Right, I was going to say we are on game day, and that brings me up to my next point that we needed to just change up the tactic a little bit. Simple reason I felt we were getting overrun a little bit in midfield. Yes, we were winning games, but it just felt like we weren't that solid in midfield playing a 4-2-4 of course we only have two midfielders so if anyone had four midfielders playing very narrow against us we were getting swamped so I've decided to go with this little change in system a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder Arnaldo Krasniki he's actually a defensive midfielder himself he's the best one in our squad and hopefully wait what's he playing as defensive midfielder yeah he'll be fine as that I know it's not making use of the fact he's six foot five, but if necessary, he can drop back into central defence. And Coyle, Liam Coyle, can also play as that uh, defensive midfielder as well. So we have a couple of options in our squad. Uh, we it also is worth noting we are missing quite a few players today, not because of injury, but because of tiredness. So let's have a look. Uh, Waters has no match fitness. Neither does Younger, but he's on the bench. Doug Moore's tired, Sam Durant is tired, Jack McKay who's come back from injury is tired, uh, who else? Uh, Adby is also tired, Latty Fairweather is tired, they are both on the bench. And we've got Liam O'Neill who has no match fitness. Collins is actually tired as well so <laughs> Younger might be coming on a little bit earlier than anticipated. Just kind of considering, should we have Taylor on the bench? We'll have him in place of Latty Fairweather, I think. Fairweather needs uh, a bit of a break. A couple of our, both of our central defenders are heavy on match load, so I need to watch that. God's Mark Ford, who has signed a new contract. I mentioned this in the last episode. Signed a new contract for next season. And he is also League 2 standard. Oh, he was League 2 standard. He's now just National League standard. But he is a good player now, effectively, for League 2 sides. Which is going to be a problem at the end of the season if teams are going to be sniffing around for him. We are losing one player though at the end of the season, which is a bit of a problem because he's one of our best players. Uh, Martin Svidersky, who has a transfer arranged. He's joining Slovakian side uh, Seneca in January, so I'm going to be in the market for a new left back because Bradley Taylor is not going to be good enough for us next season, regardless of what division that we're going to be in. I didn't actually go through who the 
starting eleven was. Well, it's been on screen for a while. If you really wanted to have a look at who's starting, pause the video. Go back, pause the video, and you'll see anyway. There's no real surprises in there except maybe Liam O'Neill, but he's in place of Doug Moore, who again is tired. So Scott Smith will be playing as our attacking Mazzala. This is going to be interesting to see how. Actually, should I mention we can clinch a playoff place? Uh, fans expecting us? No, they're not. Let's just go with this. So we could clinch a playoff place today. It's good to know. Let's see how the boys react to that because to previous praise, they've kind of felt a little overwhelmed. Or was that just Ollie Younger, who has come to me and said he wants to leave the club because he doesn't feel he's good enough? But I've told him to wait till the end of the season. If we get promoted, stay with us. If we don't get promoted, then he can go. He's out of contract anyway, so. Uh, and he's, he's effectively a backup centre back for me this season, so we'll just have to be in the market for another centre back, just like a left back. I think there's going to be a few players who we're going to be in the market for anyway this summer. Obviously, I want to strengthen the squad regardless of what division we're in, although it'd be very handy if we are in League 2. Because not only will we go professional, Football League quality players will actually have a look at us. Premier League players might be willing to send players on loan to us as well, because obviously, if we, oh, Scott Smith was so close there. Obviously, they'll be able to send players to us who will play at a much higher level compared to the National League, because they still don't want to send players to me. It, it, it keeps coming up with the same message. Oh, we want players to play with a higher quality. The National League is of good quality, let's be honest. There's still uh, former Football League clubs in this division. It's worth noting as well, we are playing on a Tuesday night. We're doing the whole Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday shtick all over again. So hopefully, teams have not been rotating unlike we have. So hopefully, they'll be a little bit tired. Although, uh, we'll see how that works out. I expect Notts County to have greater quality compared to certain other teams in this division. I'll say that Yeovil Town did very well against us. What was that corner? That was going to the back post. Oh, set pieces. Oh, no. I haven't sorted out my set piece is good grief what a, what a chance that was that was a good shot bear with me i'm gonna go and sort out my set pieces because i can't continue like this let's just have a look oh he gads yeah that's terrible bear with me i'm just gonna go sort this out all right set pieces are done i'm gonna have to sort them out in between this match and the next match of course because they won't be saved why can't we just have set pieces sorted where it's just all all done for any tactic that you put in. It, it just makes more sense. But I suppose uh, that would be too easy. I suppose if you've got different positions for each tactic, I suppose you need to kind of sort them out for each position, which doesn't make it any easier. I have, of course, got the big man up four corners. Oh, and that's a good reason why. Krasniki, six foot five, aim the ball at him and just watch Havoc be completely ripped. Uh, wrecked, 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 whatever the word is. Half time, nil nil. We are at home, remember, so I would like us to try and go out and get the victory. Uh, make sure you get the win that you deserve. We've created many chances. Yeah, you know what, I like this. And look at that, God's Mark Ford. He, he's motivated. He wants this. He's inspired. He was inspired. Um, sometimes I talk too much on these team talks. Uh, you know what, let's just go a little bit more positive. Let's see if we can put them under some pressure. Looking at the XG, we deserve at least uh, one goal here, so hopefully we'll be able to grab it in the second half. If not, I will be looking at what changes we can make. As oh, Coyle is looking a bit tired, so is Colin, so is Doherty. In fact, nothing's really happened in the second half, so I'll tell you what, let's mix it up a little bit. Glynn is going to go up front as the advance forward. He has got some pace, so hopefully that will suit him. Uh, Adam Thomas, Hales Doherty, yeah, you know what, you can go there. Are you a right footer or a left footer? You are a right footer, so you could actually swing the ball in. Shade has not been that impressive in this match, but what's he done? 6.6. .6. And, oh god, we are looking very tired at the back. Um, hopefully we can hold on for a few minutes. Uh, Michael Collins might be coming off. Krasniki is also tired. That's uh, potentially three of our centre-backs. <laughs> very, very tired. Right. 
Who do I want to take off? Uh, Collins has had an awful game, so Younger is going to come on for Collins. And let's just encourage the boys. Let's see if we can sneak ourselves a goal, hopefully, to get ourselves a nice little win. That will really go a long way, I think, to uh, helping us out. You know, race for promotion. What will not help is lumping the ball up to one lone man in an advance forward in Joe Glynn. Oh, God, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that... Mm. It hasn't quite worked, has it? Oh, the encourager's gone through now. That really wasn't what I wanted. I mean, we are coming up against Notts County. They have that experience of being at the top of this level, but still. Right, we're going to go very attacking. Shade. If we can get something from here. Nope, uh, Notts County are just going to clear. The whole point of having a 4-3-3 was to make us a bit more defensively solid. Have someone at the base of that midfield. But unfortunately, hasn't quite worked. And... Just given away a penalty. What is wrong with you? It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong here. First Fitch wasn't saving that. <laughs> He's not a penalty stopper. <sighs> right. Eastleigh game, anyone? <laughs> We're going to have to go away to Eastleigh and go and get ourselves a result. It's just frustrating. The boys, are, it's just tiring. They are literally tired. There's nothing else to say. Playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. I know most teams in this division are doing it, but we're having games postponed because teams are going far in the FA Trophy. And because of that, this happened to us against Bournemouth. They had they went far in the FA Trophy, so our game against them got postponed. And stop lumping the ball! What is the point doing that? And Glynn has just given up. Oh, it's full-time anyway, yeah. So it's a 2-0 defeat. It's... Uh... We weren't good enough. Yeah, it's as simple as. We just were not good enough. Maybe I didn't need to change the system, but at the same time, I wanted us to just be a bit more solid. Wrexham won their game. Yeah, Wrexham won 1-0 away at Scunthorpe. But see, those are the sort of results we need to be getting, and we now need to go and get that against Eastley. How did Eastley do? They drew against Kings Lynn. Right. I think they're drawing a ton of games. So, hopefully... Hopefully, <laughs> we can go and get ourselves a result against them. I'm thinking we might just go back to 4-2-4. Maybe I was just being a bit ambitious of this. We'll see how we look by Saturday, but we're going to have a lot of tired players. Hopefully, Doug Moore, Durant, Fairweather will be back. Hopefully, we'll be looking a little bit stronger. And McKay as well. Where is he? Yeah, Jack McKay. We need his goals. We need him to start scoring again. We'll be back. We've sorted out set pieces and probably a 4-2-4 reinstated right the Eastley game and we need to get a result here there's no doubt in that if we are going to continue our promotion charge we're back to the 424 that we've been using previously i don't want to keep changing tactics so we'll just stick with this for the moment we did have a winning run with this anyway but hopefully we're going with what will be mostly our strongest squad minus god's uh, god's mark ford because he's tired emoting He's not tired, but he's got a heavy match load. So I just want to reduce that on this squad as much as possible. But we are going with Vucevic in goals. Swiderski, who is tired, but I'd rather he's start than Taylor. Krasniki, Younger and Latty Fairweather at the back. Adabi, Dugmore in midfield. Uh, Adam Thomas and Sam Durant on the wings with McGlynn and McKay up front. I feel we are better with two strikers up front. They're not as isolated as they were before. That's probably the big mistake that we made. Against Notts County, we're not used to playing with a 4 or 3 3. Just a one man up front, even though we had others supporting. But we need a result here away. We are away at Eastleigh. They have been drawing a lot of games recently, but we need to go and get something from this game. Let's pump some fists. We are eighth in the form table. Crikey, we've dropped a little bit, ain't we? We were the form team at one point not long ago, but uh, two defeats in a row. That's not a good sign. Hopefully us being in a pink kit will make a bit of a difference for us here today. Let's get the general info up for them. Body language for us. I want to see how we're reacting. They are a little bit tired. They played midweek as well. Everyone did, I think. Here's hoping we can go and get ourselves a little... A little, a massively big result. I was about to say that's us. It's not. So we're, the, we're not the ones playing in blue. We're in pink. Hooray. Just like the uh, intro colour. 
I want us to I want that to bring us some luck today. Oh dear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Lee, thankfully, has a terrible, terrible shot. He's like the Hales Doherty, I'm gonna guess, of their squad. Please let that be the case. Hales Doherty not playing for us, of course, today. And for goodness sake, younger, just jump. Oh my god, he can't jump. What is what is his uh, reaching ability? His jumping reach is 13. I know he's six foot, but his jumping reach is 13. Goodness me. Have we just lost form at the completely wrong time? Oh dear, this this is not looking good for us. Oh, I thought that was going to be another penalty as well. That is really... Oh, that's really scary. Head this away, please. Thank you. Durant, drive us forward. Come on, drive, drive, drive. Where's Thomas on the left-hand side? McGlynn. What a goal by McGlynn. Okay, I didn't expect him to shoot from there. He is on... Is he on a... What do you mean it won't count? He was offside. Oh, we're in that form. We're in that form, aren't we? Where it's just all going against us at the moment. We need a slice of luck to get us out of that, out of this uh, terrible little slump that we're in. And just letting players going past us is not going to help. We don't even put tackles in, and yes, I do have get stuck in on tackles on it doesn't make a difference it's a button that you could have on or off in football manager oh what a save but he just palms it into Corbett's hands yeah oh what did we do here <sighs> go positive for starters I do not want to see that again uh what do we actually do here go shorter hit early crosses or was this just a case of it, there's nothing you can really do? Stretch their defence a little bit more, maybe. That will help. I say that. Uh, <laughs> we need to actually score to get us back into the game. Preferably we'll get a goal back before half-time. But it's just so frustrating. We were in such good form and now all of a sudden it's just deserted us at the wrong pot at the most worst time. Can't even get my words out. There is Thomas. Oh, God. come on, guys. Get the ball into the box and then we just pass it out again. What's the point? But it does feel like any time teams go forward against us at the moment, they're just going to score. McKay. Just play it in, man. McKay is our target forward, actually. So at least we're getting the ball to him. And he's just he just can't pass. Oy. Just so wasteful in possession. Yeah, that's a missed chance, and they're going to get a chance to score. And that's a good save by Vucevic, but it's just very, very worrying that we don't know what to do. We've got... How many games we got left? About nine games left after this. <laughs> and we need to find form quick, because even if we do lose top spot, I don't want us to go into the playoffs in such terrible form. And just losing the ball there, guys. This is terrible performance by us. Very... This is a very terrible performance by us. So I was going to say, if Durant can get us out of this but he can't and I don't know what this pitch was doing there we are being slaughtered on the counter here I am playing a high line but there's no other way to play it if you play a shorter line as a um, much lower line in football manager you get punished even more for it but we're just going to get punished here right now because we're so badly out of form <sighs> Svidersky is also tired <laughs> Not positive enough. We can't even string a pass together. I mean, what do we do here? Sudersky's going to have to come off for Taylor anyway. He's tired. In danger of losing discipline. <laughs> so is Vucevic as well. Oh my god. It's just bad to worsen this episode at the moment. Get Godsmark Ford on. We've got a week until the next game. I'm not particularly impressed with the facts. That our passing has been so sloppy, so has our chance creation. I mean, saying that we just scored there, unless it sparks the most, the biggest comeback of all comebacks, I'm not too thrilled at the moment. But at least the goal back does give us some sort of uh, dignity. Being 3 0 down against pro fellow promotion chasers doesn't exactly help.
like I said, nine games left after this. We need to find some form very, very quickly. They are very, very tired. So are we. And in fact, I'm going to make my final two changes. Oh, final change. I've already made two changes. Yeah, Sam Durant's going to... I mean, Sam Durant's actually the one who scored our goal. So no, I am actually going to bring on Moteng for Glynn. Let's see if that just gives us a bit more up front. Because McKay does play well as a poacher. Ay ay ay. <laughs> it's just not been looking promising, has it? We need like two penalties from a Moteng to rescue anything from this. Seems to be the only way he actually scores. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that, unless it's just another hope spot from Football Manager, but we we are back into this game. Sam Durant with two goals. Good cross from Taylor. Is that like his first assist of the season? I need to check that after this game. He's not exactly someone who's involved in goals very, very much. It also doesn't help. He doesn't play that often as well. We have actually been on the end of teams, of a team coming back against us to get a result. So that was Maidstone a few a uh, few episodes ago. I think that was actually on camera. <clears throat> It'd be nice if we can do that to someone else because we've done that precious little at times this season. Uh, Godsmark Ford's makes such a difference when he is on the pitch. Easily the best defender at the club and I thought that was going to be like a red card or something. There is Thomas who is normally very good at the back sticks and Durant with the hat-trick! I'm looking at the three... No, it's, it counts. The goal counts and Durant has got himself a hat-trick and he's just drawn us level! Yeah, this is a bit underwhelming, I know, but I wasn't exactly expecting this. 3-1, I was like, oh, okay, we've got a goal back, fair enough. 3-2, okay, but we'll see how it goes. 3-3, three, three, well, the momentum clearly has just swung in our favour. With just a few minutes to go, there is a moting. Their squad are completely shattered. We've got a few more, we've got a tired squad as well, but we've got a few more fresh players just on the back of the facts that they rested in midweek some of them and oh my god Dogmore why just don't do that he's tackled in the worst place and it was a hope spot by football manager just why so much for the comeback that was kind of pointless don't want to see that again that just ridiculous. Just don't tackle in there. It's not hard. And Moten gets the ball forward. Saved. When the highlight starts like that, it's really a goal, isn't it? It is a corner. Please get it on the head of Godsmark Ford if he is up front. Nope, it is cleared and we have no one in the midfield to gather up the ball. Just, It's just stupidity. It's ill discipline from us. And why are you doing that, Adabiyi? Just leave him, he's wide. These players are thick. I know they're National League players, but for goodness sake, just have a bit more intelligence. Five minutes, you're lumping the ball forward for no reason. You've lost your heads. Pathetic. You did well to come back. Durant literally dragged us kicking and screaming into this. Ah. Oh. No, it's not, it's not going to be, is it? We don't tackle neither. Oh, I, wa I want to sack some of these lot off. They've lost their heads. I don't understand it. We lost our form at the worst possible time. We did so well to get back into it, and then they just lose it at the end. Durant, like, literally, you are the saviour right now. For this team. Unfortunately, you're backed by complete incompetence. Oh boy, we're still top of the league, but it's going to be by like two points at this stage if Wrexham picked up a victory. No, Wrexham lost. Wrexham lost against Aldershot. Notts County, I think, also lost. Let's have a look. They drew against Solihull Moors. Alright, so we've got nine games left. We need to find some form quickly because that was pathetic. And I'm hoping we find it in the next six or seven games. 
in the next seven games because we're going to come back for the games against Scunthorpe and Aldershot who are around the playoffs. Scunthorpe at mid-table, Aldershot at fourth. Morale is low. Oh dear God. Right. Uh, hmm. Let's just quickly do this then, shall we? It's not been easy recently. We're going to have to turn things around. Okay. We've got some positivity. We've got some of the morale back. This ultimately falls on all of us to sort it out. We've been rubbish and nobody can hide from that. Exactly. Apart from Sam Duran, I can't fault him. He's been absolutely fantastic. Where is he? Where is this man? Absolute saviour in that last game. 11 goals from 25 games. We need him to score a lot more. He dragged us back into that game. Last two games of the season. We'll be back for Scunthorpe and Aldershot. Will we be back in form by then? I bloody hope so. If you have enjoyed this uh, episode, make sure you hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button so you don't miss the end of the season. But hopefully we'll get a bit of form back going into this promotion push that we are hopefully going to see through. But I thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.